Have you ever been in a gunfight where you run out of ammo and you get killed right before your weapon finishes reloading? Don't you wish you could have reloaded that little bit faster? Well, there's actually a secret trick to reload your weapon faster in COD Mobile. But before we get to the trick, we need to understand a couple things. First off, there are two types of reloads. The first I like to call the semi-reload, and this is when you reload your weapon when there are still some bullets left in the mag. The second type of reload is the empty reload, and this is where you have no bullets left in the mag and your weapon automatically starts reloading. Keep in mind that for pretty much every weapon in the game, empty reloads will take longer than semi-reloads. Then there's the ways to know when your weapon is finished reloading. The first is simply waiting for the reload animation of your gun to finish, as well as the reload button timer, but these two pretty much happen at the same time. And then there's the yellow progress bar on the gun you are reloading, as well as the mag counter, but these two are grouped together because they happen at the same time. Now the main mistake that many players make is that they wait for either the reload animation of their weapon or the reload button timer to finish before they start using their weapon again. Now take a look at the comparison between the two reload signals. As you can see, the weapon animation and the reload button timer take a lot longer compared to the progress bar or the mag counter. So the main takeaway here is to stop focusing on your weapon animation or reload button to signal when your weapon is finished reloading and instead start using the progress bar or mag counter. Now that's fine and all, but the main issue is now how can we actually make our reloads faster? Well, this can be done with a method known as reload canceling. Now there are a couple of ways to reload cancel that I know of and there are probably more but these are the main ones and the only ones you will ever need. The first and the one you will probably use the most is your ADS button. For an empty reload you can pretty much spam your ADS button so that you will scope in right as the progress bar finishes and your gun reloads. Or you can time your ADS right after the bar finishes and you can cancel your reload that way. I would definitely recommend learning how to time your reload cancels and here's why. For semi reloads you need Need to time your ADS right after the bar finishes and your gun reloads. If you ADS too early, it will cancel your reload entirely. And this is also why you can't spam your ADS button to cancel a semi-reload. The second way to reload cancel is your fire button. Now the exact same rules apply for both empty and semi-reloads. For empty reloads, you can either spam or time your fire button, but for semi-reloads, you need to time your fire button. Now I would actually use my fire button to reload cancel over my ADS button when I'm in a close range fight and I want to start hip firing as fast as possible. The third reload canceling method I know of, and this one is actually pretty useless, is weapon switching right after your gun finishes reloading. Now you need to watch the timing here for both empty and semi reloading, because if you weapon switch to reload cancel too early, in both cases, it will completely cancel your reload. To be honest, I don't really know why anyone would weapon switch to reload cancel, because if you're trying to weapon switch in the first place, it probably means that you want to keep using your main weapon, and weapon switching is just extra wasted time. One more quick tip I want to give you all, make sure you never let your mag get to zero bullets. As I said earlier, empty reloads will take longer than semi-reloads. By leaving at least one bullet in your mag and then reloading, you will make your reload time shorter. Now this doesn't apply for all weapons. For example, semi and empty reload cancels take the same amount of time for guns like the DRH and the OTS, but semi-reloads are shorter than empty reloads for a gun like the DLQ. So unless that final bullet really does matter, I would try sticking to semi-reloads and leaving at least one bullet in your mag before reloading. If this video helped you out, then please hit that subscribe button and... Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading.